You know, I've followed Survive It for likely the last 18 months. Their, their reach uh, has really grown dramatically. There's 1.6 million patients get diagnosed every year in the United States alone. 14 million new cases every year in the world. When you think about uh, how far they can reach and how many lives they can touch in a positive way, I don't know what's better than that. We've done 650 patients now. With Matt, we're hoping, and Survive It and the patient advocacy groups, we're hoping to take this up to 2,000 by the end of this year and to 10,000 by 2020. And Survive It and Matt and Rich and the patients are the ones who will get that message out and make the transformation. The ability to have someone who has already done it successfully, who has knowledge that they earned the hard way, to share that with people who need that knowledge desperately right now in a way they can understand and then use. That is the core value proposition of Survive It. We bring people together who know because they've already done it. And this resource that we've built over seven years of real world experience has the power to change the world. It's rare that you can say that. It's rare that you can put money into a cause where the direct impact of that donation can be right in front of your eyes or can help your family or can help a good friend of yours. And that's the power that Survivor brings. It's not easy to hear the words, you've got cancer. That's very frightening. My mammogram came back negative and knew I had to do something. Living in Arizona, things kind of got fumbled. Yeah, and you know, Phoenix is a top 10 market probably phenomenal cancer care there, but we were, we were fumbling. We contacted Matt and we said, okay, we need to do this the right way, the survive it way. It's a survivor helping a survivor to survive and navigate through this very difficult process. Yeah, so where is the very best care on planet Earth? And, uh, and he said, right here in Sioux Falls. Came here, three days testing, had a game plan and Ready would not have it any other way. It's yeah. just a wonderful facility and have had the best experience and great team of doctors. Because I'm gonna beat it. I've got a great support. From, from every aspect. Every yeah. aspect, every aspect. <laughs> yeah. yes. I would want Survivor to be there for you. I was diagnosed, it'll be a year, February 19th. It is stage four lung cancer. This pretty much rocked our work. I have um, gone through 13 rounds of treatment and I've been blessed that I've been staying pretty healthy. We uh, found out about Survive It when I was first diagnosed. Everybody is, their journey is different. And it's a good way to um, find out if symptoms that you have are normal or not normal. So it's a good way to reach out to other people. Because sometimes you ask your doctors and they're pretty you know, yeah, well, this could happen. I said, go on, survive it. Ask if there's anybody else that has this mutation. And it, within a short period of time, a gal responded back to us. And she lives out in Washington. And there was also another young man, and I'm not sure where he was from. But like I said, you hear from people from all over, cancer patients that are needing help can support each other through this site. There was one time we had a lung biopsy. We were like, well, where should we send this? And I said to him, I said, well, text Matt, because I, I had known that Matt wasn't feeling the best. And I said, if he responds back to us, he responds back to us. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Within just a few minutes later, Matt was already 
responding back to us. And he, I know he was sick himself. But I can't explain Matt enough. And I just feel like people need to support this group because of what he gives to everybody else. Thank you, Matt. Thank you for your organization.